One of my friends was in trouble with pivot table update. He was given this data and was told to update this pivot table. Most surprisingly, there was no backend data in this Excel. How could he update this pivot table? I showed him the right method because I can update pivot table with new data in multiple ways. You should also know these methods. I never create new pivot table for same data structure. Even I can update pivot table without the backend data. Like this pivot table and this method don't require to click refresh every time. Let's see the different methods to update pivot table in different situations and without backend data. Situation 1. Like this pivot table, copy the new data and go to the backend sheet. If there are multiple sheets and you don't know which is having backend data, then click on pivot table analyze menu and click change data source. Now you will get this information from where the pivot table is accessing data. Go to the last row of this data range and copy the new data and paste this below the previous data. Now go back to pivot table and click the change data source button from pivot table analyze menu. In change pivot table data source window, click the first cell and use shortcut Ctrl and A to select all the data. Click OK. New data will be updated in the existing pivot table. Situation 2. If you need to update the data on regular basis, then best option is to convert this range into table. Press Ctrl plus T. Don't forget to click this checkbox. My table has headers. Click OK. Now select the last cell in first column, then copy new data and paste it. Automatically, the new data you pasted will be included in this table. You don't need to do anything more here. Go to pivot table and within the pivot table, right click and click refresh. Data is updated. Situation 3. Suppose I receive this pivot table without the backend data like my friend. I will double click on the last cell of the last column and the backend data will be displayed. This is the backend data in the pivot table in the table format. Remember, you need to double click on the total column, not any other columns. If total column is unavailable, then you can display totals from this option. To update this pivot table, use the above steps that we have done in situation 2 table update. Now paste your data into this table and from pivot table analyze select change data source and select this range. You are done. No refresh required. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. I am here to share my knowledge of Excel with you. Thank you.